Not a single one of the 39 student, adopted students has been rescued. We have put our trust in the government and school authority to rescue the student in good time and safety. But that, was, that has not happened. It is now 12 that day, there is days since the unfortunate incident happened. And we, as parents, have not received any positive message from either the school management, the minister or minister of environment, under whose ministry the school is, or the Kaduna state government under whose territorial jurisdiction the school is located. This silence is unacceptable as it only feeds our hopelessness with each passing day. We have therefore called for this press conference to call the attention of government of, at the state and federal level and all stakeholders involved and indeed the world to act with dispatch to ensure the immediate and safe release of our children. We have seen this kind of ugly event happen in Kastana, Zafara, Niger State and swiftly the government acted and ensured the safe, the safe and timely rescue of the victim. So why is the case of Afaka 39 different? Why should our innocent children pay for the failure of government to provide security of life and, and property? Or is it now a crime to seek education in school? Let us not forget that the students were taken in bad shape. Some were barely covering themselves, especially the ladies. This is a dangerous thing and should have made the government to act faster. My husband was 63 and he will fight war. He did not quit in fight the war. Now when it is time for them to pay my children, to pay my husband, they did not pay. Now I suffer to make my child to come to school. And now they kidnap her. They don't want to make something. Is that what they will pay my husband? He's a hero before he dies. Please hear our cry. Hear our cry and talk to the government. Let them come out to help us. Uh, let them come out to help us. Even if they will not help us, we will die with them. Let them come and kill us. Let them come and kill us with the children in the bush. Let them come and pick us so that we we'll go and die together with our children.